Hi, this is Instructional Development at UC Santa Barbara. Fostering class discussion is not always easy. So here are some ideas of how you can develop the key habits of good discussion leaders. Habit number one, build students' confidence by normalizing difficulty in the learning process. This makes students more willing to participate because they know others share their confusion. Student responses to difficulty also helps instructors choose follow-up activities based on the student responses. The second habit of good discussion leaders is to get students to talk to each other. They often use small group activities that help students practice critical thinking together in a safe social space. For example, student groups can analyze a case, predict an outcome, articulate a hypothesis, or relate concepts to their own lives. To encourage even more interaction and community feeling, good discussion leaders graciously redirect students' questions to their peers. Instead of answering themselves, instructors ask other class members to answer, comment, elaborate, or add their own perspective. Habit number four, good discussion leaders work the room. They notice who has and who hasn't contributed to the conversation. They intentionally call on different groups of students to encourage participation. And they use technologies that allow all students to contribute to the class digitally. Another way they foster discussion is to use wait time to give students the opportunity to prepare their responses. Sometimes just 5 to 10 seconds is enough to get a few more people involved. Lastly, good discussion leaders ask follow-up questions that help students articulate their reasoning. These kinds of questions develop students' critical thinking skills and often help other students understand subtleties in the content. We hope you develop these habits to invigorate class discussions and build community. And if you have any questions, come and see us at Instructional Development. Thanks for watching.